Hi, everybody. Okay, I'm going to do a couple demonstrations for you. I see this thing is in the way of my camera. Okay, there. All right. So, um, the first one was, I told you I was going to, once again, show you. So, here's bromothymol blue. I know it's backwards. BTB. BTB is an indicator. You can see it's blue. And in the presence of carbon dioxide, BTB will turn yellow. So if I blow through the straw and I breathe out carbon dioxide, this BTB should turn yellow. Let's see. All right. So turn nice and yellow. So that means that I breathe out carbon dioxide because my cells are doing cellular respiration. They're going to take that glucose and turn it into one thing, carbon dioxide. So we breathe out carbon dioxide. Just proved that to you. Now, so I'm going to take some sugar here, plain old sugar, and I'm going to show you how it can be broken up to release energy. All right, I'm going to add some water to this just to get it going. Help the reaction go a little faster. Because otherwise, you have sugar sitting in your cupboard and it doesn't break up. Like, not like this anyway. So I'm going to use water and some sulfuric acid to make it break up a lot quicker. All right. Here's the sulfuric acid this in. And then I'm going to stir it up. Also to help the reaction happen a little faster. All right. So now you're seeing gas <clears throat> so that's water vapor and some carbon dioxide and this is pure carbon so and it's it's so hot it's giving off water vapor too and that's really hot so there's your energy see how much energy is stored in that sugar and I'm releasing carbon dioxide, water vapor, energy, and there's some pure carbon left over. That was in your sugar. Huh. Who knew? Okay. Hope you enjoyed my video. Bye.